It's that chaotic time of year when summer is coming to an end and all the students are heading back to school. So let's dust off those textbooks, sharpen those pencils, and indulge in some awesome horror movies that fit the feeling of early September so well. It's my list of five films that every horror fan should watch to prepare themselves for the mundane and dreadful hallways, early mornings, awkward social groups, and the annoying fucking teachers. Ever, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. You get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back! The girl no one likes. Oh, well, sorry about this incident, Cassie. It's Carrie! And everyone makes fun of her. Free, A socially awkward girl known as Carrie gets stooped into going to prom with a jock only to discover, the hard way, that it was all a little revenge scheme by the popular girls. This De Palma classic is more than just an awesome Stephen King adaptation. It's a great message to those so-called cooler kids to not fuck with the ones that may seem a bit different, and if you do, prepare to pay the price. Carrie remains a classic, and despite the countless attempts at remakes over the years, the original remains the best. It has the horror. It has the heartbreak and emotions, and it has the reminder that if you ever invite a girl named Carrie to prom, you best treat her well. Jennifer's evil. I know. No, I mean, she's actually evil. Not high school evil. Love it or hate it, Jennifer's body tells the cautionary tale of the popular girl who eats men. No, not like that, you pervert. Like, literally devours them. Every high school has that one girl who goes through men like they mean nothing, and here, that girl is Megan Fox. It's got poppy teenage dialogue thanks to the wit of Diablo Cody, best known for Juno, and acts as a good warning to those high school boys and girls to never fall for that girl who uses the less popular to her advantage, because she will make your high school experience suck. But let's face it, if she looks like Megan Fox, it was worth it. You're killing people. No, I'm killing boys. I got and said the club side this one takes us out of the confines of high school and into the freedom of college life. A prank gone too far by the Theta Pi leaves a best friend dead and a couple of months later, a killer lurks on campus. Lessons learned, sororities suck, don't join any. It's a slasher with a neat setup and remains pretty fun to watch, mainly because it's entertaining to see bad things happen to those that for the most part, deserve it. They decided to make real sure that no one would ever forget the girls in the house on Sorority Row. This is a very exciting time for your sister. Boys, their body. As if going through puberty isn't hard enough, toss in being bitten by a werewolf during a nightly prank and you got yourself a whole barrel of awkwardness. Enter the Fitzgerald sisters, who have an obsession with death and a hatred for those preppy, popular kids. While Ginger is a few years older than her sister, and her body is changing, she's growing hair all over and has a new appetite for men. Her younger sibling, Bridget, on the other hand, thinks that her sister is beginning to go insane and has trouble facing the fact that she's changing into something else. In this case, we're talking about werewolves. But the movie acts as a perfect metaphor for the struggles of becoming a woman or man and facing the sad fact of life, which is we all have to grow up eventually. Too much blood. Just do it. You like scary movies? Uh huh. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Sydney is a high school girl with a somewhat troubled past that becomes the obsession of a local killer who goes by Ghostface. Add to that she has relationship problems with her bad boyfriend Billy and the fact that her classmates are getting butchered off one by one. As the movie teaches us, everyone is a suspect and just because you're in school doesn't mean you're safe. Scream would go on to be the first of many 90s films to focus on a group of high school or college kids trying to figure out who the killer is in a sort of whodunit, but to this day, Scream remains the best. So who are you? The question isn't who am I? The question is where am I? So where are you? Your front porch. 